Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Solving Standard. I'm Corbin Hostler, and this is Bant Super Friends. Dominaria is here, and we are ready to play with it. Mox Amber in the house, Karn Cyan of Urza, Teferi in appearance as well. So it was Ali Antrazi uh, from Gathering Magic who first posted this list, and I've been toying around with it a little bit. Uh, I'm not convinced it's better or whatever, but I've been having fun uh, with the deck. Now, one of the favorite things of, of basically anybody in Standard is when a lot of sets are in it, you can just plug a bunch of Planeswalkers together. And Oath of Teferi, it certainly speaks to me. Five mana enchantment, uh, all the oaths are part of a cycle that stretches across multiple blocks. But when Oath of Teferi enters the battlefield, exile another, another target permanent you control, return it to its under con under con owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Can't talk. Uh, you may activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control twice each turn rather than only once. Now, that is pretty powerful. Insanely powerful, and definitely a reason to play this deck. Uh, Karn, turn four. Dovin Bond, turn four. Turn five, Oath of Teferi. Yeah, that's some good value right here. So, this is the deck. It's Bant, three colors. The old Mox Amber, which is pretty decent, right? It's nice ramping you up to turn five. Uh, five mana, turn four, which is also why I have the Servant of the Conduits in the deck. Uh, there's just a couple. Maybe it's better with four of them uh, and no Haze of Pollens. I'm not sure. But right now, I'm going to keep the Haze of Pollens because just fogging uh, when people are trying to attack your Planeswalkers, pretty powerful. Uh, Search for Azkanta, nice busted card all around, really legendary. Uh, Heart of Kirin, now this is also pretty good. If you can activate your Planeswalker ability twice a turn, that means you can activate uh, Heart of Kirin's ability by removing them. Uh, a loyalty counter and having a 4-4. Four, four. It comes out on turn 2 conveniently in time to protect your Planeswalkers after that. Thematic Compass. This is great because uh, it doesn't do much on the front end. You can go search out the couple of basics we have. But once you have 7 lands, it becomes a Maze of Ith. Untap target attacking creature. Remove it from combat. That's pretty good when we're trying to protect all these Planeswalkers. To the Planeswalkers themselves. Getting into the Trials. This one is proven powerful, standard, and modern. Does a lot of stuff. Can prevent damage. Can become a win condition. Can keep you from losing the game. Cast out for the little bit of flexibility and removal here. I went with the 1-1 split between cast out and seal away. Settle the Wreckage and Fumigate deal with creatures. Dovin Bond. Pretty nice. It's not really seen a lot of love in standard, but it's pretty decent. Uh, it can protect itself by giving a creature minus, and it can also gain you life and draw you cards. Karn. This card does... So many good things. Comes down for four mana, any color, immediately ticks up to six loyalty to reveal top two cards. You get one in your hand, the other is exiled, which you can then later put in your hand. Or if you really want, you can make a token to protect itself. It will always be at least a 1-1, one, one, sometimes bigger. Nissa Vital Force, another win condition. Make sure creature, your lands become creatures. Uh, can also return permanents, including these other Planeswalkers, from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, and, you know, emblems, pretty good, draw a bunch of cards. Uh, Oath of Teferi we talked about. Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Five mana, ticks up, draw a card to be in the next instep, untap two lands. Including, by chance, perhaps the um, the Thematic Compass slash Spires of Araska here. It also gives you the mana uh, to cast Seal Away, which may be reason for even more Seal Aways in the deck here. Plays very nicely with it. Of course, you can also just put target on land permanent into its owner's library, throw from the top, protect it. Uh, Johnny Unyielding, reveal the top three cards of your library, put all non-land permanents revealed the way into your hand. Or just exile a creature, it's controller games life. Swords of Plow Shares here for six mana. And of course, running out with Nissa, Stewart Developments, really good because it can come down so early on turn three. Scry two, look at the top card if it's a land or creature with converted mana cost lesser equal to the number of loyalty on Nissa put into play. And a win condition, make a bunch of big things. So. What we don't necessarily have with these Planeswalkers are great ways to protect themselves, but what we do have are really powerful card advantage abilities on basically all of them. And with Heart of Kirin and the Wrath spells, pretty pretty good at protecting our Planeswalkers. So that's the deck. The sideboard, of course, we've got some good stuff here. We've got Lyra Dawnbringers. I think this card is going to be extremely good in New Standard, great against the Hazard decks and so on. Uh, and I went Sunscorch Champion here for a little more against the red decks. Ixalan's Binding for Scarab God, Negate for Control Matchup, Seal Away for Aggro, Snakes, so on. Urza's Ruinous Blast. It is also possible that the Seal Aways and Cast Outs in our main deck here, we don't want. And instead you want Urza's Ruinous Blast. But it does cost 5 mana, which is quite a bit. Uh, and Commit to Memory with, for some more flexibility. But I am extremely excited for Dominaria. I'm excited for Solving Standard. Might even have some Brawl coming up. 
later in the next week or two. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But everyone, this is going to be a lot of fun here. I'm pretty excited about Dominary. It looks awesome. Get to play some of my favorite cards. Uh, back in, the, in making new decks in standard. Back to brewing here with Oath of Teferi and so on. So everyone, thank you for watching. I'm Corbin Hostler. This is Solving Standard. Let's go have some fun with Dominaria.